I've known Rob since we were kids. Our family is very close. I met him again when I was 18. Just started hanging out with him one day. He became my best friend. Got in a relationship from there after I found out I was pregnant. Me and Rob have been off and on for about three years. We have a beautiful little girl together and I've been trying to fight to keep our family together. Robert is a, a great father, but as a spouse, he makes my skin crawl. The reason why our family isn't working is due to his infidelity problems. Rob has constantly just been abusive, kind of mentally. When he does get caught cheating, he's like he doesn't admit to cheating. Today, what brings me here is allegations with my daughter. Last year, my daughter said that the bad man hurt her cookie. And then later on, it came out that daddy hurt her cookie. When I took her to the ER, they were not able to check her due to her age, so we had to go out of town for her to be checked. I called Child Services. An investigation was opened up. She was interviewed and examined. I also called the police as well. Child Services did find Robert guilty due to her interview, but the police did not. That investigation was closed. I did allow him to attend her birthday party after that, and she started being around him. Everything was normal. She actually started living with him shortly after that, and then the second allegation came up. My daughter told a family member that her dad had hurt her again, and she asked to be checked down there from that family member second allegation had came up the day before I already had planned a trip to go to Vegas and her dad was supposed to be watching her for this trip. I did end up going on my trip to Vegas. I had a different family member watch my child while I left. So I ended up going, um, enjoyed the trip, came back, immediately started investigating with my daughter. I contacted Child Services again and the police to do another investigation with the second allegation. She was sent to another town to be examined and questioned. Everything was unfounded. She didn't say anything in their interview or anything was showing up on the exam. Robert has accused me of making this up and coaching our daughter. Yes, I've called DHS multiple times. Yes, I've called the police. I have to protect my daughter and whatever she tells me, I believe her. I, in my heart, don't believe that Rob did anything to our child, but I have to believe my baby and what she's telling me. I have taken her away from Rob due to these allegations because if he's hurting her or confusing and manipulating her mind more, I don't need her to be around him. The producers wanted to put Rob in a different hotel, but I wanted us to be in the same hotel just due to all the sex trafficking and women coming up missing. I feel more safer and protected knowing he's right down the hall. I took a lie detector test today because it was not offered to me. I asked for it to clear my name that I did not coach my daughter or make any of this up. I know I will pass my lie detector test because I would never do anything to confuse my daughter. Rob also was willing to take the lie detector test to prove that he did not do anything to our daughter. If Rob passes today, he's more than welcome to be in his kid's life. If he does not pass, he's going to jail. Before I start asking you questions, Rob, you protected uh, Jamia last night? Mm-hmm. So I, I, I find it ironic that she asks you to protect her, but she thinks you're hurting your daughter. OK. But when you hear about you being accused of molesting, sexually assaulting your own daughter, what do you think about that? It's hurtful. I can't really speak on it. It's like. I have my father in my life. I always say my father in my life. And I feel like that taught me how to be a man and how to be a father to my child. I feel like Jamia has not. So she don't know what a genuine man looks like or what a real father looks like. And the bond I have with my daughter, she really messing that up. I have never been approached by an officer. I've never had DHS send me anything in the mail. So you didn't talk to either Never. One of them. Not the first time, not the second time. The first time she made these allegations up because I was in a relationship with a woman that she w wasn't approving because I had moved on. She had complications going on and my daughter had to come be with me permanently. I stepped up, never no questions asked. I got my baby. When she, Jamia got back on her feet, gave up my daughter right back. How long was she with you for? A couple months, okay. at least three months. Yeah. Gave her back get on the phone, what's, what's this, your mommy saying, yeah, daddy, you touched my cookie. Okay, we don't even call at that. 
We call it private areas. Once she was done, I asked, who told you to say that? She said, my mommy, and Jamia hung the phone up. I never heard anything else after that situation. Two years later, altercation happens again. I come for her birthday. I end up staying in town because she had complications. I had to get my daughter once again. No questions asked. I step up, I get her. How long this time? Almost like six months I had her. Since I came down there to their town, I wasn't even staying in the town that they was in. But I got a crib and I stepped up like I'm supposed to as a father. It gets out that I'm seeing someone again. Boom. I give my daughter back to her. Here come the allegations again. So you deny doing anything sexual with your daughter? I would never. This is, that's my world. I lived a different life. And when, once I became a father where I'm from, that teaches you that there's more to life. That's, that's your future. That's your seed. That's what's going to be here. That's your legacy. That's what's going to be here when you go. I never, ever, and it's not just my daughter. It's any child around me. That's the genuine man that I am just am. Um, what's this about Jemiah going to Vegas after she accuses you? If I was the one accusing somebody of doing these type of things, ain't no way my daughter leaving my side. Ain't no way we ain't going directly. <laughs> First thing I want to say is that I'm only here for my child, and that's it. Second thing I want to say is I'm watching backstage and listening to everything you say. So you think that I coached our daughter? You truly, in your heart, we just had a whole talk about this. You think I coached our daughter? I verbally And you know, you know in my this. heart that I don't think that you did this. But I have to believe what she said because of not only my past, that my, my family didn't believe me. So I have to believe anything she says. I don't care who it's from. It could have been God who she said did it, and I would have believed her. You cannot put your past trauma I, I'm off on me and, and my daughter. I understand that. We go through our stuff, we talk Secondly, about it. Secondly, the my own only stuff. reason, had, like I have twice, let it be once. known to you, the first time <laughs> when she was on that phone, and she said, who said When mom? conversations that ever happened? When did we ever have a conversation where she said, mom said it? Ever. When we were sitting on the phone and my spouse was right there, you know you can come. What? When? We're not finna do time? this. Now we gonna. The first time? Yes. Yes. I and don't you remember know that this. at all. You know don't this. remember that at all. This. What did she exactly say to you? She came to me after being with him for a few months. She came to me the second day of her being back, like, Mom, can you check my kooky? So it threw me off, so I set her down, and I'm like, why would you ask me this? Like, if somebody hurts you, Mommy can protect you. I don't care if it's your dad. I don't care if it's your grandpa. I don't care who it is. I can protect you against them. So then she started saying, the bad guy hurt her kooky. So immediately, I started crying. I closed myself in the bathroom. I called him. Did you take her to the hospital? Yes, yeah, she went to the emergency room immediately. And, and what did the doctor say? They were not allowed to examine her in our state because of her age at the time. We had to go somewhere else. Did you go somewhere else? Not that time, not the first time. We ended up going. Did you go to the police? Um, no, DHS case was still going on. So You had a said, DHS yep. open because of this incident? Mm -hmm. And did they ever come to a conclusion? Yep. With what that case, he was found guilty. Who? He was. The, he said they never even talked to him. That's what he keeps saying, but they Do told me they that? tried to contact him. Well, yeah, they tried to contact, but he's saying if he never talked to him, how can they come to a conclusion? They found guilty due to her interviews, due to my child's okay, interviews. Okay, but nothing to do with what they said to him or talking to him. I don't know if yeah. they ended up talking I mean, what to I'm him, saying but is, from do her interviews on my paperwork, it has him found guilty. Right. She has my contact. How would they not I be gave able to them contact that. I gave well, them the address of where you were saying. Here's the bigger question is, I how did they find the you guilty if they never interviewed you? The Hold DHS? On. Okay. So... But here's, here's, you know, uh, you, you're a woman, and I, I don't want to make fun of you feeling unsafe in a city mm -hmm. you're traveling to. Oh, yeah. There is a I lot of crazy stuff on going on in the world. I get it. <laughs> so, you, you know, you want to feel protected. You feel protected with him. Mm -hmm. uh, you had some good times last night. Mm -hmm. You talked too much, but yeah. Oh, he knew before I yeah. even knew that no, they knew. No, they were trying to guess around. He didn't know nothing. Well, I'm good at guessing around. That yeah, wasn't I see. That. that wasn't what I was told. <laughs> yeah. But so yeah. anyway, so anyways, but so th it feels a little contradictory, right? It does, and th this is why I never thought he did it. I'm believing what my child said to me because I don't want to make the same mistake right. of what happened to me. Right. 
So the fact of all the emotions, like, this is my child's father. I'm always going to have feelings for him. But you know, you know, when you're in an embrace with him last night, and no, there's nothing wrong with it. We are grown. You're right. And, and when you're your age, you know, you want to do that a lot. And so when you're doing that, there's no way you're thinking, this guy hurt my dog. I never did. Right. We just had this conversation last night before it happened. Right. We asked you, Jamea, are you fabricating these molestation allegations? You answered no. Did you coach your daughter regarding these molestation allegations? You answered no. Result of your lie detector test came back the same. Teach question. And it came back that Did you're you telling tell the, the truth. truth. Um, you know, I didn't think you were making this up. There's no way. I think you're a concerned mother. I think something's going on, but it's just not him. Yeah. Uh, I'm just curious, and there's really nothing to do with the story. Any chance you two ever get back together? No. No. How about you? Mm -mm. No? We just tried. We just tried a few weeks ago. We were trying to work on things. <laughs> we were. How long did you try for? A whole bunch of stuff came out from what he was doing. We weren't together. It no, pissed but me how off, long and did I reacted. You well, how a few long weeks. Did... Ten minutes. <laughs> Ten minutes. <laughs> A few days until the truth came out. They, they try a lot, of, a lot in 10 minute increments. And please don't let him fool you. He'll try again. Rob came here. He took a lie detector test because uh, allegations against him about molesting his, his own daughter. So he came here. He took a lie detector test. And we asked him, have you ever touched your daughter for your own sexual gratification? He answered no. And the results are that he told the truth. And I mean this, seriously. I wouldn't sleep with her anymore. Because as much as you might enjoy it, I, I think it complicates things. I it really does. do. It confuses it does. me because he knows. Right. It, it, like, hello. Right. We so sleep together. You know either, I don't sleep around. If I you sleep with, with her, love. then you got to say, Maybe I got to explore the possibility of being back together. Steve, he does. I, because he wants does. his family Look, back. This is the thing. He wants his family I back. I wouldn't He's have a problem out. with being with her or, you know, having me a, a family, father, mother, and how it's how she is. We don't know how to communicate. It doesn't Our matter is very if unhealthy. it's not in her favor, if she's not having her way, the world can burn and crumble. It can. That's why I'm here on the show. It can. Because we could have did this right at right. home with the I'm local saying. police. But I'm saying, found if you, out if it you, wasn't me. But if you know this, you got to stop sleeping with that. <laughs> if there's a chance that you should be open and talk and spend time together and figure it out. If you can't, be adults, manage this child, be, be in this child's life civilly, be mom and dad, but apart. And that's mm -hmm. all I'm saying. And if I just, we explore luck. that and option. You, you know, if we can help you with anybody else, you let us know. Good luck here. Click here to watch more Wilco's. Click here to subscribe and get a front row seat for all the action. Can you relate to this story? Go to www.stewilcos.com to get my help.